One of the most used panes in Azure is the Widget Manager, which provides an overview of all the Dynamics panels added to a design area. What are Dynamic Panels? They are widgets that act like containers for other widgets, holding them in different states. Basically, they can be hidden, moved, scaled, allowing you to create complex interactions. A dynamic panel can contain one or more states, and each state can contain any number of widgets. My preferred way of creating a dynamic panel is to convert an actual widget or a group of widgets into a dynamic panel by right-clicking and choosing the Convert to Dynamic Panel from the context menu. Let's take an image from the Starbucks website that we are going to create later in this course. First let's have a short preview of what we can actually do with dynamic panels combined with advanced conditional logic. We have mouse over and selected states, on click on mouse center and on mouse out states, combined with panel state changes based on quite heavy if else conditional logic. We will create this component from scratch later on. Coming back to our basic example, we can right click on the image and convert it easily to a dynamic panel. Now you can see in the widget manager that a new dynamic panel was created and the image is placed into the first state. You will also notice that there are a lot of new interactions available for this widget now in the widget properties pane. To edit the state of a dynamic panel, we need to double click on the state in the widget manager and it will open in a new tab. Now you will have another canvas that will be contained in the size of the dynamic panel that holds it. Drag another image next to the image and switch back to the page. You will see that the dynamic panel's width increased so that all the widgets in the state could be seen. We will resize the dynamic panel size by clicking and dragging from the right side and you will see that the image being hidden from the view. But the image is still there in the first state. You'll notice a blue dashed outline in the state, outline that shows the size of the dynamic panel and is the boundary for what we can see in the state. To hide the dynamic panel from viewing the design area, click on the blue square to the right of the dynamic panel's name. This is useful when dynamic panels are on top or overlap other widgets. Let's add another state to this dynamic panel. Select it inside the widget manager, right click and select add state from the context menu. Now we will edit the state as the one before it. Copy the second image from state 1 as it is not useful for us there and paste it inside state 2. Now we have a dynamic panel with two states. Let's create our first basic interaction. Drag a button shape widget onto the canvas and name it Switch. In the widget name and interactions pane, double click on the onclick event. In this window, we will create most of our interactions. Select Set Panel State from the Dynamic Panel section. Check the dynamic panel you wish to add interactions to. Set Select the State to State 2 and animate in 500 milliseconds so that, so that we can actually see the state change easier when we preview the prototype. We can now preview the prototype. Click on the switch button and you will see that state 1 changes to state 2 with a nice fade in animation. But now we need to switch back to state 1 by pressing the same button. What we can do is add some conditional logic to this, so if we go back to the prototype we can do the following. Double click on the on click event and select add condition. 
From the first drop down, select State of Panel. You will see that the next drop down will contain all the dynamic panels in our canvas, in our case 1. And we already have State 1 selected. Basically, the rule is that if the State of Panel, Dynamic Panel equals State, State 1, the following interactions will take place. Click OK and OK again. Now we need to add another case for when the state of the panel equals state 2. Right click on the out click event and select add case. Now we can add the condition that we need. Add the proper state to state 1 with a fade in animation of 500 milliseconds. We are ready to preview the prototype again. As you can see, the state changes every time we click on the button. We managed to create our first interactive prototype using basic conditional logic.